Matter movement. Few people are questioning the sentiment of Governor Ned Lamont's newest executive order, but some departments are questioning the implications of it. From the backyard of the residence, Governor Ned Lamont announced he's using his emergency powers to mandate state police reform. I want a state police force. I want an administration. I want judges. I want district attorneys who represent the amazing diversity of our state. Here's what the governor's executive order does. It prohibits chokeholds. We don't practice chokeholds. We don't train to chokeholds. Uh, we do train to de-escalation. It implements a see something, do something policy, requiring troopers to intervene in excessive use of force. Part of our training in one of our scenarios is uh, a, a trooper or a recruit intervening when somebody might be utilizing uh, excessive force. So it's stuff that we're already doing. It mandates each troop train a community liaison officer to build relationships. We want to ensure that people have a place to go to to express their concerns, you know, and again, that team effort building a community. And it requires all use of force incidents to be put on a publicly accessible data portal with specific information from the type of weapon used to the gender and ethnic breakdown of the suspect. Everything that the governor was discussing in his briefing yesterday is stuff that we already have out on our portal. The order also bars state police from participating in what's called 1033, the program through which police can acquire surplus or unused military equipment for free from the federal government. Local departments were excluded from the executive order, but the Connecticut Police Chiefs Association has voluntarily agreed to stop taking in military equipment for 90 days. <laughs> Still, some local departments told Fox 61 this equipment has practical use. The items that we have received would be purchased normally uh, through our normal budgetary process, but we're able to obtain them through this, which ultimately saves the taxpayers money. Here at the Naugatuck Police Department, they recently acquired this thermal site from the military to locate lost people. We had a need for these in various situations where we had, for example, lost people, lost children, um, uh, an Alzheimer patient or something, and they've wandered into the woods. Many years ago, the Suffolk Police, a town with a lot of undeveloped land, acquired this Humvee as an off-road search and rescue vehicle. There are uh, a number of pieces of equipment that the department could use that are specific for helping our town residents, and uh, I'm concerned that if the restrictions are overreaching, it may limit the ability of law enforcement to assist citizens. The executive order also requires all state troopers to have body cameras and all patrol vehicles to be equipped with dash cameras by 2021. Here at the Suffield Police Department, they have neither. They told me they're all for transparency and accountability. They simply don't have the funds for it, and they think that without some help, it would eventually result in taxes going up. Reporting in Suffield, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.